This video will cover the topic finding zeros and their multiplicities given a polynomial function written in factored form. What do you mean by zeros and their multiplicities? Zero, also referred to as a root, is a number which when substituted in the function yields zero. Multiplicity of a zero is the number of times its corresponding factor appears in the function. Okay, can we do an example? Let us consider an example. Let us say we have a polynomial function in its factored form. 3 times x minus 2 raised to the 5th power times x plus 3 raised to the 6th power times x minus 1 raised to the 2nd power. Let us say we are required to calculate the zeros and their multiplicities. In order to determine the zeros, we equate each individual factor in the product form to zero. Thus, x minus 2 equals zero. This implies x equals 2. Next, x plus 3 equals zero implies x equals negative 3. Finally, we have x minus 1 equals zero, hence x equals 1. Thus, 2, negative 3 and 1 are the zeros of the given polynomial function. Okay, now we must determine the multiplicity of each factor, right? Yes, that is the last part of the problem. In order to determine the multiplicity of each factor, we observe the number of times that its factor appears in the function. In other words, the multiplicity of a zero in a polynomial function written in its factored form is the power to which the corresponding factor of the zero is raised to. Let us consider the first root which is 2. The corresponding factor of 2 is x minus 2. Thus, the multiplicity of 2 is the power to which x minus 2 is raised to. Since we have x minus 2 raised to the fifth power, the multiplicity of 2 is 5. The next root is negative 3. The corresponding factor of negative 3 is x plus 3. Since x plus 3 is raised to the power 6, the multiplicity of negative 3 is 6. Finally, we have 1. The corresponding factor of 1 is x minus 1, and since we have x minus 1 quantity squared, the multiplicity of 1 is 2. That is correct. Okay, I think I understand the concept. But just to be sure, in order to determine the zeros of the polynomial function written in the factored form, we equate the individual factors to zero and evaluate the roots. To determine the multiplicity of the zeros, we consider the individual roots and determine the power to which its corresponding factors are raised to. Perfect. 